I got word today there was a potent low-frequency beam attack on a group of scientists. Perfecting their beam, 12 dead to a coma. But now anyway, keep this between us. Travel to Kansas City, meet with Dr. Roberts, and I'd let him brief you on the Phoenix program and the dire situation we face. Your country needs you. Welcome to Kansas City. Where did you get this? This is, this is Russia. Yeah, we traced it back to a group out of Russia calling themselves Transcom this year. Do you guys feel the severity? I need to know everything they've ever done. I need to know who they are, where they are. I need to know how many freckles she has. They're targeting us. Well, guys, we are at war. They are using extremely low frequencies against us, and I will show you that midway through this video. I'm going to start with these microwaves that are causing an awful lot of problems. I've spoken to many of you, and I've corresponded with many of you, and read the comments, and I am reading that an awful lot are getting diagnosed with very serious medical conditions. You're not feeling well, no matter what you do. You can't seem to get yourself um, feeling okay. Well, we are at war, and this is exactly what they want. Now, the pulsating frequencies, all of these abnormal cloud things that you're seeing in the sky, all of the camera going in and out of focus, that is the microwaves that we are saturated in saturated. Now, if you don't have any clouds in the sky, do not think that they're still not using the microwaves. They are, but you can really see them when they put that cloud substance in because nothing is natural anymore. At the tail end of this video, I will include what we can call uh, video footnotes, articles that substantiate everything that I'm going to say. What do these microwaves do to us? induces oxidative damage, causes calcium efflux, abnormal uh, release of calcium. Calcium goes into our cells when it should be going out, and I believe vice versa. Um, mitochondria dysfunction depolarizes red blood cells. Cells clump together, causing less oxygen in brain cells and body organ cells. Produces protein shedding of cell membranes of red blood cells, decreases killer cells, the form of white blood cells, your bodies, your body absolutely needs to defend against pathogens. Long-term exposure can lead to a change in a particular white blood cell ratio, the T helper, the T suppressor. This cell ratio goes from normal to abnormal, an abnormal ratio can lead to viral, fungal, and bacterial infections. It causes weakness uh, or weakens your immune system, increases in virus, bacteria, mold, parasites, and yeast in blood, induces subliminal stress that can cause adrenal fatigue. Your adrenal glands stop the necessary excretion that your body needs. And that is often found in people with chronic fatigue syndrome. It decreases in your brains certain uh, hormones. Um, Noroepinephrine, I always, I always had a hard time pronouncing that. That's essential for the control of your autonomic nervous system, which controls the regulation of your body temperature. It decreases melatonin. The uh, neurotransmitters, it has an effect on your neurotransmitters, particularly acetylcholine C. I, well, these microwave frequencies actually affect the way you speak. <laughs> uh, but that neurotransmitter you have a problem with that neurotransmitter and you may very well end up with 
neurological, neuromuscular disorders, including Alzheimer's. Your dopamine is affected. Numerous studies show that it causes allergies. It affects histamine. Uh, it opens the blood-brain barrier. Very, very, very important that that blood-brain barrier stay closed because it protects the brain from foreign substances like viruses and bacteria and chemicals. Brain tumors, birth deformities, oh, the list is long. The list is long. You know, the human brain resonates with the natural low frequency, the um, Schumann resonance, resonance, and it comes from the earth and the ionosphere. And they're screwing around. Look at those pulsating frequencies. Okay, they disrupt the Schumann resonance. And that leads to an awful lot of problems, which so many are experiencing now. So what is coming up? I took uh, captures of these ultra low frequencies that are being set off and I did it by region the Northwest Canada and the Northeast and the Southeast region and beginning each region I am outlining what you should be looking at all of these very defined lines that kind of fan out those are ultra low frequencies and what do what are the effects of ultra low frequencies um, it's a it's known as a biological stressor. You can see colored lights out of the periphery of your vision. It distorts vision. You can have twitching of your eyes. You can see ghostly gray in the center of your vision. It literally resonates with the human eyeball so it can cause your eyeball to vibrate, cataracts. It can cause your vision to pulsate. Uh, low frequencies cause pressure with enough power. They can cause lungs, eyes, membranes to stretch. Uh, your inner ear can experience direct pressure distortions. Your whole body can vibrate. Your chest and abdomen can vibrate. Your breathing, you can have breathing problems. Uh, it impacts the lungs at a certain decibel and induces artificial abnormal rhythms in respiration. It can cause bone joint damage, vision damage, fatigue, apathy, depression, loss of concentration, drowsiness, vibration of internal organs, vertigo, balance problems, um, central nervous system problems, cardiovascular problems, respiratory system disturbances. It increases blood pressure, pulse rate, decreases alertness, causes anxiety, irritability, anger, um, your time perception can be off, nausea, sleep disturbances, nonspecific pain, alteration in calcium release, alteration in size of birth. Um, it can cause aberrant growth in the birth of that study was pups, rat pups. Headaches, heart palpitations, muscle, muscle twitching, spasms, hot, cold flashes, flu-like symptoms without having the actual flu. Subliminal, subliminally, it can influence brain activity, altering your brain wave patterns, inducing passivity when ordinarily you would be alert. You have no control causes bone tumors, motor activity disturbances, decrease in blood glucose, uh, glucose, changes in blood hemoglobin, changes in circadian rhythms. 
24-hour exposure studies have shown short-term memory loss and performance problems. Chronic exposure, it, it has effects on growth of overall. Uh, it has shown retarded development of growth in rats and chicks. It causes neurological disturbances, autonomic nervous system disturbances, um, and it's also used for mind control. They can induce voices in your head with extremely low frequencies. Interferes. It interferes with our brain regulation. And if it's interfering with our natural regulation processes, common sense should tell everyone that something is very wrong, that we are not outraged since we are saturated now. Not only in microwave frequencies, but apparently these ultra low frequencies never have I seen it so frequent and you're not even seeing all of the captures that I have been taking all of those very defined lines caused by ultra low frequencies it also it causes cellular damage DNA damage breaks uh, chromosomal changes free radical activity changes genetic changes, immune system impairment. Okay, so a lot of the symptoms or the effects, the biological effects of the ultra-low frequencies overlap with the microwave frequencies, except they're not turning off the microwave frequencies when they're setting off the ultra-low frequencies, so we are being bombarded. The intensity of frequencies that we are now experiencing I had a conversation a couple of days ago with a friend who lives in Maine. This is Portland, the Portland area of Maine. And she said, before I told her about the ultra-low frequencies being set off, right where, in the area that she lives, she told me that she was experiencing, you know, dread and anxiety. Guess what? It's the frequencies. I am really very, very... Uh, upset that life has for so many turned into turned into something that is so <sighs> unprecedented for sure but those of us who are who are sensitive to the frequencies I will tell you everything that I have tried to do I can't I cannot I am now in chronic, sharp pain, my neck, my shoulders. The, the, the cognitive problems that I have been having is scary, sometimes embarrassing. Memory, confusion, can't focus, can't concentrate. Everything that I used to be able to do without thinking, now I have to put in effort to think about it. And everything that just kind of came naturally to me no longer comes naturally. Everything is taking um, a lot of effort. I'm experiencing more frequent dizziness. The headaches without or the migraines without the headache, the jagged colors out of the periphery of my vision more frequently, balance problems. There are times when I feel like I'm just going to keel over and I have to actually put out my hand, you know, and hold on to something. And I've said to subscribers, I don't even know my body anymore. It feels like you know, it's foreign. The things that I was able to do to feel better, I, I, it doesn't, nothing's working.
And then I, you know, talk to neighbors. And it's amazing. Memory problems, that's what I'm hearing a lot from my neighbors. Can't retain anything. So I live in this area. You know, the circles that I put up there, everyone is affected. Everyone in that entire region is affected by these ultra low frequencies and they I absolutely do believe that they are using these frequencies to keep us down, to make sure that we do not have any ability to fight what is coming. And it pisses me off. I, I don't like, you know, I don't like being messed with. I don't like being played with. I don't like being lied to. I don't like having someone else determine how I'm going to feel. And then, of course, you listen to people who, you know, say, well, you know, uh, I told you to take collodial silver, and collodial silver is, uh, is the, it protects you against all of these frequencies, and, and clearly, you know, you want to suffer or whatever. You know, I'm like, oh my God, if collodial silver was the magic answer for everybody, every targeted individual would be running out to buy it in bulk. Everybody would be using it. I've spoken to other people who have used collodial silver, and no, um, it has not worked for them. I have used it and used it and used it. I've had subscribers send it to me, and it, you know, it's like, do you know what people are living before you make those judgments? Could somebody be living in a particularly, um, in a particular area where the frequencies are like nonstop and really very intense compared to somebody else? I mean, it's these kinds of, and it really gets me upset. You know, we are at war. They want us. They are deliberately using the tools they have to get us sick, keep us down. You know, if it was so easy to fight this war, well then, we wouldn't be living what we're living, right? This unconventional war is far more dangerous than a conventional war. You know, you see these jagged things shooting out into the ocean. It's like all of these very, very defined lines. All of that. Signatures of frequencies. You got frequencies coming out of Tennessee. You have frequencies coming out of Columbia and Spartanburg, South Carolina. And the areas that I'm saying, I didn't go down to check exactly where uh, the ultra-low transmitters are. You know, so I'm just giving you a rough idea. But those frequencies shoot off into Tennessee and into North Carolina. Tennessee comes into South Carolina. These frequencies cross. We're getting bombarded. Bombarded. So, there you go. And this is, these articles are just a few of what I have bookmarked. The ultra-low frequencies are really particularly dangerous, and they can use it for mind control. And in fact, I came across an article today out of Cornell University about the Soviets, their studies, and using frequencies to control the population, the behavior of humans. This is happening, guys. We are at war. They are using these frequencies to attack us, to mind control us, to keep us down, to keep us sick, to keep us not capable of fighting this war. We've been at war for years. It's only getting worse.
and every time I walk out of my door, what do I see? If there's cloud substance in the sky, I see those silent weapons for quiet wars. They're right in my face all the time. Look, guys, I hope you're all doing well. See you soon.